Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a comparison between all three of these Bissell Spin Wave mops. So here, these two are cordless. This one does require a cord. So let's go over the model numbers. This is the Bissell Spin Wave Pet. It's purple. It's model number 23157. This is the Bissell Spin Wave Plus Vac. It's got a built-in vacuum for vacuuming up dry material. This is model number 37643. And over here, we've got the Bissell Spin Wave. This is called the Hardwood Floor Expert. It's model number 20393. Again, this one, I actually have a long cord. I gotta plug it in for it to work. This one, I've got an external charger. I'm gonna plug in the back. It's cordless, take it anywhere I want. Same with this one, external charger. Plug it in, charge it up, then I can take it anywhere I want. Now, the first thing you'll notice is this has a built-in dry vacuum, which we're gonna talk about. But you're also gonna notice are the pads. So the pads are a little bit different. Now these, these pads, one's just got some built-in scrubber, the other one's really soft. So these pads are exactly the same. So these two on the ends take the exact same pads. Now this one comes with a nice tray that I actually do like because your mop head is usually wet when you're done. Um, you're not always gonna take them off and throw them in the laundries. You may be reusing them. So that's a really nice feature so that they're, they stay nice and it doesn't keep your floor messy. This one also has a built-in um, tray. This one does not have the tray. Now let's talk with how they put their solution down. Now this one, these, this one and this one, the purple and the blue one, they call this the white black one sometimes, they act about the same. They've got a power button. You're gonna turn it on. That activates the spinning brushes, but then you have a solution button. When you press the button, Solution is going to come out this little button right here and you just simply go over the area and that's how you're going to mop your floor. Glides really easy. When you're done, turn it off or if you stow it upright, it, it stops the mopping pads. So these mopping pads, they just are Velcro on. You put them in the laundry, you can reuse them. Again, very nice feature. When you want to install them, bend them over like this. Line up that gray dot with that screw and then just simply pat it on Velcro. Very, very nice, very easy. This one, the solution is going to come out right here and it's automatic. When I, I've got three switches here, I've got a power button, I got a vacuum, which turns the dry vacuum on, and I have a like a um, water droplet that's for if I want to do the mopping. So, first, let's talk about the pads. You can see the pads are smaller and they have a hole in them. And again, the solution is going to come out right here. Here's the dry area. So, you can use this and it'll dry, it'll suck up dry material like dog hair or crumbs before it does the mopping. When, and then these are reusable. I can put these in the laundry also. Simply line them up, put them on, Velcro on. Here's my solution tank on this one. So press the button, take it over to the sink, take the cap off, fill it up with water. They all three use the same solution. Put the front in, make sure you click that in all the way. Over here, here's the solution tank. I like that it sits flat. Take the cap off, fill it up with water, then your solution. Again, this has the exact same solution tank. And again, this one just has to plug in and it operates the same way, has the same cleaning pads. Let's talk about the one with the vacuum now. So here we have this vacuum. Again, it's only in this front area right here. It's gonna send us to this chamber. Press this release button. This comes out. When, when all your crumbs are in here, take this over to, this, to your trash can, empty them out, put it back. There is a filter in here. Now, the reason behind this filter is, so you may, you may suck up some wet material. That's okay. They don't recommend sucking up a big wet, uh, milk spill or something, but if you do get some wet material in here, it's okay. You're just gonna have a little bit more work. You're gonna have to take this off, clean this out, let it dry before you use it the next time. Now putting this on, attach the hook on the top and then snap it into place. Now again, three buttons. I can turn the vacuum cleaner on or off. And again, with the uh, solution, I can turn it on or off. So if I just wanna vacuum up the, the kitchen real quick, I can just vacuum it. I don't have to have the mopping solution coming out. If I want the mopping solution only and no vacuum, turn the vacuum off and vice versa. So very, very neat features, which we're gonna go over. And again, this one puts the solution down automatically. These two have a trigger for the solution that you have to spray it out. So I've got this one on. It's in solution only. 
Very easy to maneuver. All three of them move really easy. They glide. I can turn the vacuum on or off. Now it's gonna suck up dry material. Turn it off. And I can even turn the solution on or off. And now it's just dry mopping. I can turn it off and stow it. And again, the solution's gonna come out right here in the middle, automatic. Let's go over cleaning area. So these are definitely, you get a lot more cleaning area. Almost 16 inches wide. This one is a little bit smaller, right about 12 inches. This one's the same 16 inches. Height wise, they're all three the same, you know, right at 44 inches. Front to back, about eight and a half. Front to back, about eight. So let's go see how they clean on some hardwood floors and see how they do. Okay, so here I've got some dry material. I got some coffee and some dog hair. I'm gonna turn the vacuum cleaner and the mopping on this one. These two are just gonna mop. Now, if you have a really big mess, it, it, it will just smear a really, like if I had a huge chocolate mess here, it would just keep smearing it around. So this is just meant for mopping your floor. And if you have like a minor stain, we're gonna see how it cleans it up. Make sure we're even. We're gonna spray some solution down. They both go sideways really easy. I can go up against here. Now I can turn the vacuum cleaner off. Now this one, now they're all just mopping. Okay, so you can see that not all three of these are not, they're gonna struggle. If you have a big milk spill on the floor, they're gonna struggle with that. They're gonna kind of spread it around a little bit. So this is kind of meant for mopping up, just maintaining your floor, keeping it nice and shiny in that. I love having the vacuum cleaner part when you do have dust, dog hair on the floor. It is gonna vacuum it up. I can turn that off. I can just do mopping. Again, this one, the mopping is automatic. Putting the solution down, you're not gonna tell it when to do that other than turning it off. This one, you gotta pull, you gotta press a button for it to come out. Same with this one. You know, it's got a really nice long cord. Um, I do like having cordless though. These have bigger cleaning surface areas. And again, this one here, the purple one, does come with this tray that you can set it in because sometimes these mop pads are kind of wet, so. Okay, let's talk price now. So this one was just released. The vacuum cleaner one is retailing for $250. They do put it on sale. Uh, $200 is a really good price point for this one. This one, the corded one's $99. The purple one here, the other cordless one, is $154. Now I bought both of these uh, used off of Amazon. Don't forget to check underneath the buy new. You'll see a little section that says buy used. Typically they're open boxes. If you get it and you don't like it, you can send it right back. Uh, and then you could buy a new one if you wanted it. But I love doing that. Um, it's just a really nice way of saving some money. I bought all of these with my own money. Again, the Bissell one with the vacuum cleaner, I do typically like a little bit better. Um, it's a smaller cleaning surface, but you get the vacuum cleaner. I thought they both all three away about the same. Cleaning wise, again, and they're not gonna go up against a big uh, Tenneco or a Shark HydroVac. Those things are have a, a wet chamber that sucks up the big milk spill, sucks it up and puts it into a, a separate wet chamber. You know, these are just simply gonna spread it around. Meant for mopping, but with that in mind, if you have a really a stain on your uh, floor, it will definitely scrub the stain out uh, better than a Tenneco or something that has the roller brush. So these definitely work, work pretty good. They're just not gonna get huge messes. Again, having the vacuum cleaner, I think does help out a bunch. You know, the solution tank's a little tricky sometimes, but I'm getting used to it. Now remember, this $99 one does not come with the tray. I like having the tray because those pads are kind of wet. The pads are smaller on the one with the vacuum cleaner. And again, you're not in control of the solution other than turning it on or off. It's gonna put the solution down automatically. 
over here i'm pressing a button on this one also i'm pressing a button to put the solution down and then i got a mop all over it so um i did buy all three of these products with my own money that way i can inform you as the consumer should you buy which one would you buy you know the 99 dollar one does a really good job i bought this used i think i got it for about 70 dollars. it was an open box i didn't see anything wrong with it they put new pads in it so it's not like you're getting some old dirty pads or something 154 yeah, that's a good price point for this 250 again would love to see this on sale um I'll put links to them underneath the show description notes. I am a Walmart and an Amazon affiliate. If you click on the links, the products don't cost you anymore, but I do get a commission from the sale. It is a way of supporting my channel. Again, I buy these products with my own money. That way I'm not influenced uh, on what to say or how to say it. It just works out so much better when I can let you know uh, I've spent my money on this and should you spend your money on this. Now, you're not going to go out and buy all three. Let me buy all three. Let me buy the the three top selling spin mops and let's talk about them and let me show you exactly which one they're you know i'm not telling you which one to buy i want to show you what they do because this one may be perfect for you this one may be perfect for you and this one may be perfect for somebody else i don't typically get into oh you just got to get this one this is the best thing no um it's what i like um but i could see where these other ones would be good too so I want to show you the features of them. And then a lot of times it comes down to price. You know, do I need the extra vacuum for an extra hundred dollars? No, I can definitely save a lot of money by just having something that mops my floor really well. So again, that's why I do these videos. It's to help people, show people. I love doing the side-by-sides right next to each other. Um, I, if there's another way you would like to see them reviewed, I'm always open. The comments are how I learn the most. Um, I'm doing this. I've, you know, no one taught me how to review these. Um, you got to start doing it sometime. So I just started doing it. Look at the comments. They're like, hey, I would love to see it do this, that. I just started incorporating it in my videos. And so again, really do appreciate everybody's support. Everybody's been so nice to me. I'm also available. Um, I got, I'm on different platforms. I'm on Instagram. Check me out on Instagram, Just a Dad Videos, TikTok, uh, Just a Dad Videos, and I have a Facebook group page. So when I'm done with these products, I do give them away for free. Um, I do, we do weekly giveaways. So I do have to keep some, like I'll probably keep this one for a while because I got to do comparisons with it. It's brand new. I'll end up eventually giving it away. But check out those pages. On Instagram, I'm also going to be starting free giveaways. So Just a Dad videos also over there. TikTok, we just have fun, short videos, kind of a quick uh, peek of how these things work. You don't really go into great detail on the products. That's kind of what these long form videos are for. So again, really do appreciate everybody's support. If you could hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. That really does help me out. Again, really appreciate everybody's support. So thanks everybody for watching my video today. Underneath the video, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that really helps out my YouTube channel. Again, you can purchase all this coffee right below the video. You'll see links to them or go to justadadcoffee.com. I really do appreciate everybody's support. Recently, YouTube just sent me my 100,000 subscriber plaque. That would not be possible without everybody's support. So again, I really appreciate it. I'm excited for this new adventure, branding my own coffee. Um, it, it tastes really good, and I hope you're going to definitely like it again. Hoping somebody asks you what your favorite cup of coffee is. It's just a dad simple sip coffee. And again, thanks so much for watching the YouTube channel. Also, be sure and check out my Just a Dad videos group page on Facebook. This is where I do my free giveaways. So when I'm done with my products, I do a free giveaway on there. And you can kind of see behind the scenes of how I make my videos. Also, check out my podcast, Coffee with Dad podcast. This is where I interview different people. I love to hear everybody's story, and I just think everybody has a story they want to tell. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and thanks so much. Miss Fiona always knows when I'm doing a recording.